Hak penjagaan anak-anak pasangan warga Malaysia Azizur Rahim Awaludin dan Shalwati Nurshal yang diberikan kepada keluarga bukan Islam seakan mencetuskan kesedaran dalam kalangan masyarakat Islam di Sweden. Bagi mereka, ini bukan pertama kali kes sedemikian berlaku. Malah ia pernah terjadi kepada banyak keluarga Islam yang lain. Sekaligus, menuntut perhatian serius bagi mengelak anak-anak beragama Islam daripada terus diserahkan kepada keluarga bukan Islam. Selaras dengan keprihatinan itu, Persatuan Islam Sweden untuk keamanan dan keadilan telah menganjurkan satu seminar bagi menimbulkan kesedaran akan keperluan lebih ramai keluarga Muslim untuk menjadi keluarga angkat dalam sistem kebajikan sosial negara itu. Okay, so today we had a seminar about the Muslim foster care family and also information about the social law and child protection law in in Sweden, uh, because a lot of Muslim families uh, get um, uh, get uh, into trouble with the social services. So what we try to do is uh, we try to inform them about their rights and also about the system in Sweden and also how they can contribute and provide uh, uh, their service by becoming foster care families and taking care of Muslim uh, children if they get into child protection service uh, because we need more of this because uh, Muslim children usually come into uh, families that is non-Muslim, secular Swedish uh, families where they have different views on, on things like uh, food and, and animals etc etc uh, that might not be halal compliant. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get more Muslim families to get involved and, and to become foster care families and also put pressure on the municipalities in Sweden to, to broaden uh, the, the foster care uh, selection because we live now in 2014 and in Sweden you have a larger uh, percentage of Muslims living in Sweden so the Swedish state needs to adapt to the new reality of Sweden where there's so much Muslims living here so we need, uh, so we need uh, to, to make that change. There's so many municipalities that do not have uh, foster, Muslim foster care families to place uh, the children in and this is a big problem and there needs to be a bigger effort by the Swedish municipalities to take action in this regard because according to the European Convention and the Child Convention that Sweden is a signatory to, they, they, this is actually already Swedish law, but they are not doing it uh, enough. Uh, well, they are placed in uh, a foster family and uh, often it's uh, in a uh, family that's not Muslim and, uh, and it's because there is a few Muslim people that work as foster family, uh, so that's what's happening, happens. We have, to, we have to be very, very clear with one thing. Uh, even when the children has been taken into child protection uh, custody, it doesn't mean that the parents have done anything wrong. It's just suspicion that the parents might have done something wrong or are unfit as parent. And this, during this time, uh, if they feel because of the suspicion that it's dangerous for the children to be in the home, and I'm saying suspicion, not, not evidence, suspicion, they, they, then they have to take the children and put them in a safe care during the investigation to, to, to sort out if the children is actually in an abusive relationship with their parents or not. So, um, and, and after that has been concluded, of course, there is efforts to make sure that the, the parents and the children get unified again. Kes pasangan Malaysia Azizul Rahim Awaludin dan Shalwati Noshal merupakan contoh terbaik untuk uh, masyarakat Islam di Sweden mengambil langkah proaktif untuk kebaikan mereka sendiri. Zan Azli, Tok Estrawani di Stockholm, Sweden.